Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Hot, dry, almost scaringly dry. We hope something will come from these clouds, but the weather forecast is not a chance. Therefore, we are working very hard on water systems. It looks like this severe patterns of dry weather and high heat will continue the next decades. Here we have a culvert. It was built by the state in a creek, an occasional creek, and it runs this way. And uh, this is north and south, 60, 60 kilometers south, is the Rio Tinto mines that were started, the mining started there about 5,000 years ago. And uh, it, many, many civilizations took part in the mining. The mining was mainly for gold, silver, iron ore, a few other minerals. So the first people we know about are the Tartessans, the Iberians, the Phoenicians, the Greeks, the Romans, Visigoths, Moors, Spanish, British. And uh, they had to transport this stuff. The British only started building a big harbor in Huelva. The others had to take it to Lisbon from here. And there was a road built by various civilizations not too far from here on the way to Lisbon. On the way, uh, transporting stuff, people needed to rest, they needed to be fed, they needed to quench their thirst and uh, this was a wet spot there was always water here and uh, then civilizations we don't know which one started this and which one changed it and which one ended it because it's quite a, uh, a collabor collaboration between all these civilizations of this system we have here, the water system. What we have now, and I had several hobby archaeologists, engineers here and uh, we still wait for final opinions. Anyway, the water will come down. You, water used to run all year round. And in the summer, in the low season, they will bank it up. It will be higher. And in winter time, they will remove all these obstructions. And then they place lots of rocks here. And then the water uh, infiltrates these rocks and then go into a, what is called a mina, a mine, a canal under earth passage. But the big discovery I've made is that right below me here, is a three meter di diameter circle, a big hole, four meters deep, 
with a egg-shaped cone on top of it. And that is the, what's it called, the decantador, a silt collection installation. Let's go and have a look. Okay, I'm down. This is the mina. This way is a long canal. And this way is a dome. With many inlets straight ahead where water comes in here and this thing is at least four or five meters deep it is to collect all the silt and then the water runs this way i usually i initially thought this was uh, a fountain which it also is but the purpose of this is silt collection and then regularly they would just mix the water with the sand with the water that comes in through all these openings and then push it down this canal and then get rid of it I'm out again this canal goes down here. There is still some sluice gate where the water was blocked to infiltrate this top area. The water will run down here. And there is another shaft and the sand was then collected placed on the sides and the water will carry on running that way this whole area was covered with brambles like here uh, this was my own discovery because nobody could see this Let's see where it used to go. The last owner built a cistern, an underground water tank there from where I pump our irrigation water. So the continuous flow in the past of clear water used to come here, run down a canal adjacent to the creek that way the water came down here going that side there is uh, a stone wall here on the left And then the water would cross the street, the current street. When I made this, cleared up this area here for my moringas, I found a tremendous amount of rocks that was still part of this canal. The water crossed here in the past, ran to that little building over there and from there it was distributed there is a big water tank there and uh, a wall this was all garden uh, vegetables for the people who moved the minerals from Rio Tinto towards Lisbon that is what I know now and I still have to clear that the, the cantadora, the silt collector 
from silt. Um, I don't have the time right now. I hope to do it soon. And we hope on the rain. Many trees are dying because the water table is still very low or non-existing after many years of drought. We had some rain last year, but uh, it did not change anything for most of the plants, except the grasses. Till next time, goodbye.